The integration between the document register and models allows you to better manage design coordination and model access across your project team. You can now send and receive models, easily identify models that are connected, and quickly jump from the document register into the model viewer. And as with any document in your register, you can easily distribute the model with people in other organisations through a mail or a transmittal. The new search and group bar in the model viewer makes it easier to locate models, visualise, navigate, link data and raise processes to model data for successful delivery, whether you're in the office or on site. So let's take a look at how we do this in Aconex. You can add files from the document register directly into the models module. Go to the icon just under the model stacks heading and click add. You'll see the option to add from the document register in the drop down menu. From here, you'll see a document register search field. In this instance, I'll do a search based on file type and from these results, I'll select two of these models, the structural and mechanical South Tower Hotel and click add. The new model stacks are brought across from the document register and available to load in the viewer. Now let's jump back to the document register and take a look at one model. Under document type, I select model. This small cube icon tells me that the structural South Tower Hotel model is a document in the register, connected and ready to be collaborated on in the models module. I can open the document here from the document register by right clicking and selecting open in models. And once again, we're in models. You can do everything you'd normally do and because it was uploaded via the document register, it retains all of the metadata tagged against it when it was uploaded, giving you more context, the status of the model, document number and discipline. And on that, you can group your models by discipline. Next to the search field, there are a number of ways to organise your model stacks. It's a great way to get the models you need quickly. You can share access to the model with other people in other organisations through a mail or a transmittal and updating models is simple. Once you supersede the document in the register, it will be available in models. If you're a BIM coordinator or project administrator and involved in configuring the information structure on a project, configuring model stack fields is a great way to display the information that's important to your project in the model stack list. Any documents that are connected as documents from the document register appear in the model stack list here on the left of the screen. By default, they've got six fields of information and now you can set which fields you want to appear in which location. So at the moment, we can see that these are set up with document number, title, discipline, revision, status, and revision date. But our project might require that we configure this information differently. Let's take a look at how to do that. Let's head over to Setup and go down to Project Settings. If I'm the project admin, I can access the model setup tab and from within here, I can see the six fields. Here I can see the six fields that can be changed and below this is a preview of how that's going to look. Let's say we want to make the title the first field. I just click here and make title the main field. Just a note here, the first field can only be the title or document number. At first it's telling me there are two fields with the same information. Let's just change that third field to display the document number and you can see a preview of what that's going to look like down at the bottom. If I want the type to appear in field 5 here, I can change that and so forth, and I'll see a preview of that down below. Just a note that in the second field, revision is locked, as you always need to have that displayed. And the last field is always a date. From here, I can save that configuration, and that's saved for all project users. So the next time anyone jumps into models, when they view the model stack list, they'll see that those six fields are now configured. We've got the title in the first position, and we've changed the discipline to a type. And you can sort your stacks by name and date in this view as well. Another way to see the details of the field properties is by clicking here and going to settings. And from here, I can see a bit of information about how the fields are configured.